Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. It is the 25th of May, 2021. This is a general reading. Okay, today we're gonna do something a little different. Let's see if I get a download. Okay, so I'm hearing that everything falls into place when you show your authentic face. <laughs> okay. Let's do the reading. Now, this is going to be a little different, so we're just going to pick a card and flip. And then let's just keep it going. Hold on. Okay, so we got the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, two, two Aces. Six of Pentacles reversed. The High Priestess. So this is a nice spread. Let's look. We have two aces. Hello. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Are we ready? We're so ready. We're ready to show ourselves out into the open, out into whatever it is now, we have found a semblance of authentic love for ourselves. We have two aces back to back here, literally. So an overwhelming abundance of self-love and knowing that, what? We're going to manifest something for sure, right? But, and, but we don't know yet because we're looking out. So the six, six of Pentacles is like, listen, I got to figure it out first. And the high priestess is saying, well, certainly now that I feel that I'm authentic and true to my own self and that I'm not trying to be anyone else, when we turn this around and we turn this around, what do we have? We have the high priestess who's looking at the six of Pentacles, who's what reversed being the one who says wow i've not been myself i've not been true to myself i've been not i've not been following my authentic intuitiveness right and then when we turn it around as it came out in the spread now we're like, okay, so I'm going to I'm going to use my intuition, my guidance, my spirit guides to guide me to this destination, wherever that may be, right? Okay. So let's use our intuition to guide us spiritually. B and or J could be very significant in your life. And the stability of the cloak, which is red, right? This is about stability. So what you're, what you're building on comes from your authentic self who's being guided to a place. So if you're not sure where you're being guided, just give yourself a minute to figure it out. Why? Look, this pentacle is here. So this new beginning is based upon the love and the direction of your crown chakra. And where your crown chakra is taking you is six. What's six? It's the sixth house. Who's the sixth house? Virgo. 
Who's who's mostly and and very psychic? Virgos. So using your intuition and psychic abilities and balancing out what you're receiving from spirit is exactly what you are now in need of doing. We have six, eight, nine, ten. Hello. New beginnings, new authentic beginnings based upon the understanding of who you truly are to yourself. I'm going to get one more overriding overall. And here it is. When you are authentically your own true self, you come across another who is going to represent that same truth. Law of attraction. Masculine and feminine unite underneath the guise of the knowledge and truth of two people who come together based upon solely their own love of self, their own vision, and their intuition of who they are together and who they are apart. So if you're struggling to find another is it because you're not using your intuitive guidance of authenticity? Ask yourself that. Because either way, it's here for you. Four of Wands, happy, secure, committed, commitments to one another. But you have to have these two first. You have to understand that. You have to have the Ace of Cups. You have to understand, which is the Ace of Pentacles. Understanding that what re is required of you is you seeking your own truth of your own love and peace within yourself so that you can turn yourself around and say, I followed my, my own sense of knowing. And now this person appears, right? Either way, whether they're in your life or not, in or out, doesn't matter, out, in, it's the same thing. This card depicts within and without. If this person is not in your life, they're coming. But only until, and that's why you see all the blue here, right? Only until your inner love of self can be shown out into the world as your authentic authenticity. So I'm guided to use, let's do this. We haven't used this in a minute. Starseed Oracle deck. Why? Because we are not in the dark. No, we're using our own truth, our own guidance, our own knowledge. We're using our, our higher self here to guide us, right? On our own spiritual path. So let's get one card to see what it says. The courageous peony, which is what? A flower. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Is that not what you're doing here? Look at the color coordination because 
you started here. This is a work in progress and it never, it is ever changing. But once you get the hang of the two aces, right? Knowledge of authentic love of self. Okay. Then you incorporate the beautiful crown chakra, the crown, the third eye, all the colors of the rainbow come out, especially when you see and seek the one that comes for you after you've done the work on yourself. And you then flower, you blossom. Do you understand that? When you work on self, you blossom into your own self. You have to have the courage to believe that you are what you seek. And not what others are telling you, but what you innately know to be true. Have a great day.